Good day and welcome to our very short course on how to use the EBM system to record a whiteboard. Behind me is a wall with a special coating that lets you run on with a dry erase marker, like this one. And I know this doesn't look like a standard dry erase marker, but it is inside of a very uh, interesting electronic device, uh, which is part of the EBM system. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of it and then we'll step back and go through the components. So first thing is, you take this pen uh, and you write on the wall, say something complex like a bar chart. As you can see on the screen, it is being recorded. And isn't that nice? So that's the nut of what you are doing. You, what you want to do is again record what's on the screen. And as I'm going to flip to a new page now by clicking in the top left hand corner, I'm going to click this little plus, And that's going to bring up another page. And I can write, I can then go over and with a dry erase eraser, wipe it out. And I can use the same marker or a different marker. And I can do other things. There we go. So that is the point to the system. Uh, we can record what we're doing on the, on, on the, on the drywall. Uh, and then beyond that, we can save it and send it out to people. We can save it as a PDF, as a PowerPoint, uh, TIFFs, JPEGs, uh, assorted other uh, formats. So let's get started on the components. Uh, the first component uh, I can't show you. It's uh, taped to the bottom of the wall. Uh, but basically, that's the e-beam receiver that we've used in other, uh, in other boardrooms. Um, Nothing really exciting there, just leave it alone. It's, uh, uh, there's no need to, uh, to play with it or adjust it. These pens are using standard dry erase markers, and if they dry out as they want to do, uh, they're easy to change. You simply uh, take, the, uh, take the device apart, which is not too hard. Pull the cap off, and you'll see here uh, on, well, it's hard to see, I know, on the camera, but there's a clip on the side of this pen. You just push the clip in, and then it just uh, breaks open. And you tip the uh, uh, pen back. You might have to push in the end a bit if it's uh, stuck in there a bit. But anyway, when it comes out, uh, you can see it's just a standard uh, everyday uh, dry erase marker. This is an Expo marker. Very nice. Uh, if you have a new one, you can simply insert it. And you're on your way. Uh, then I can go back here and I can continue to work. So I will add, uh, let's see, more uh, content in here. I'm going to put the cap on, and just for fun, just to show you that there's nothing too strange about this, uh, I'm going to show you I can fill this in with different colors. There we go. Okay, so the uh, third component of the uh, e-beam system is the uh, dry eraser. Um, it's the same as your standard dry eraser, with this exception. It has the e-beam technology built into it uh, in this little handle. So if you just use this, and I'll, I'll do this, I'm going to, uh, if I just use a standard dry erase marker, well, it sure erases it from the wall, but as you can see, it doesn't do much for the screen. This unit, however, uh, will erase from the screen and from the wall. You can see it's still showing on the, <laughs> you can see it's still uh, showing on the uh, screen there, so I'm going to erase, re-erase all of that. There we go. So that bar is now gone. It doesn't exist. Um, that is that. The uh, next component is the software. So I'm going to walk over to the software now and uh, show you how to uh, run through it. So the software resides at the bottom here. It's called eBeam Capture. And uh, you can launch it, and it will bring up this software uh, that we're using. There are a bunch of tools along the bottom. We'll go through uh, each quite quickly. They're pretty self-explanatory, just from the icon. Uh, the first is the one we're on now, which is the default view. Uh, we can go to uh, page view. Uh, which will show us all of the pages, a thumbnail view, I should say. This gives us a little bit larger without having the, uh, the thumbnails at the side. Uh, and this one is probably the most useful. It says full screen because that's what it is. If I click on it, it just gets rid of the extra stuff. And now when I go back to the wall, oops, when I go back to the wall, I can do whatever I need to, uh, oh, I'll just do this again. I can um, do whatever I need to do, and it just looks larger for people that are uh, watching. Okay. I can press escape to get back out of that, or I could just press the uh, full screen button again. Uh, another one that's very useful, you'll use all the time, let's go back to this view, is the uh, new page view. So if I click on new page, it's going to bring up a nice fresh page. And what I should do then is go over here with, the, uh, with any uh, uh, eraser and erase what's on the board. And uh, go again. So I'm going to take, uh, let's take red this time because that's an exciting color. And I will do a uh, lovely pie chart. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. And again, I can fill this in with different colors, which I will do very, very quickly here, just to show you that that works. And we're on our way. OK. 
Now, say I have this, I have this particular um, uh, you know, uh, pie chart that I want to use, and I, I wish to use it uh, on another slide, but I want to maintain this one because I've got some changes I, I want to make to it, but I, I really need to maintain this original. Well, that's what this next option is for, which is duplicate. So I can go over here and say, duplicate the page. So now it's exactly where it was, and I can go over here and I can take another, uh, well, let's say I'm going to take this uh, eraser, and I'm going to uh, uh, erase this half of the chart. It's uh, kind of a useless pie chart that way, but that's the point of this is to show you what's weird about it. And uh, I can take a different marker and I could uh, build a funnel and um, you know, some sort of Maslow's hierarchy of needs here inverted. Um, and now I'm going to go back to my software and you can see I can click through these different pages. So, in, so what I've done is I've maintained this page as a duplicate of the other page, but I've been able to work on it and make uh, big changes, which is lovely. The other settings over here relate to sharing, which we're not using. Uh, this is a feature that uh, Evie was just getting into. We haven't done any testing on it. Um, we will use our conferencing systems to, our existing conferencing systems rather than, uh, rather than these. The delete, so if you get into this and you say, you know, I really hate this page, I can click on this page or any page and uh, click the X and that will delete it. I don't want to do that because I'm going to save this at the end and I want to show you, uh, I want as many pages as I can. Uh, the last thing to note is back on the wall. Um, in addition to it being a, a wall that has this coating on it, it's, uh, we've also put little markers so you know where the boundaries are of where the EVM can record. So it's very hard to see. In fact, you, you really can't see it. But we put a little purple dot up at the top there. And um, uh, the point of the dot is the, the person writing on the wall can see it, but people in the room can't. Uh, it doesn't get in any way, it doesn't get in your presentation uh, uh, view at all. There's also another dot in the top right hand corner up here or top left depending on what your perspective. And just for um, measurement we put a, a little dot in the middle as well. And it goes pretty much all the way to the floor, just, just above the floor. So you really have quite a massive area to work with. Uh, showing you how to save the contents of this. So let's go back to the software and do that. So in the software I can now click File, Save As, and there are uh, many different formats. Uh, PDF, I can save it as graphics, you know, TIFFs, whatever. Probably the most interesting one, um, well, the two most interesting are the PowerPoint presentation. So let me do that. I'm going to save this on the desktop as Untitled 1. And uh, that's going to save a PowerPoint for me. And I'm just going to go get that so you can see it. Uh, this is a very easy way to distribute things to, uh, to, uh, to people. This is, you know, a way that they can uh, see the content of your presentation and do basic manipulations on it. Um, but the other way to do this is to go back into the software and save it as an EBM presentation, as a capture file. Now if I do that, I'm going to go uh, select desktop again and I'm going to call this, uh, well I'll just leave it at that, it doesn't make much difference what we call it, so there we go. And now I can close all of these, including this EBM capture, and I can go back into it here. And I could, if I wanted, uh, go back and uh, add uh, more content to this. I could pick up where I left off, uh, or I can make uh, changes. Uh, one more note, uh, the mouse does work. So I can go into here and I can write with the mouse as you can see. Uh, so I, you know, if, if uh, somebody wants to make a point, they can easily draw on this. You know, there is one more point that's important, which is we have seen the software fail twice uh, in testing. It doesn't happen a lot. Um, it doesn't let you down. It doesn't seem to let you down in the middle of things. Only when you're in the middle of a of, uh, of recording. It's only when you're making a change in the software. So uh, the software is pretty good, but it's certainly not bulletproof. Uh, so the two things to know are if it if it uh, craps out on you, just restart it. And the last thing is this: if you go to the tools menu, if you can't get this to work, which has only happened once, it's very odd. And you go to the tools menu, and you see that most of these options are grayed out. Well, that's probably an indication that the uh, eBeam uh, system needs to be rebooted. So there's a couple ways to do that, but the, most, the, the fastest way to do it is just reboot the whole PC. Uh, it's not required, but it will certainly, it's something everybody can remember and it's straightforward. So if you have any questions, uh, please give us a call. Happy to help. The system seems to work pretty well, and we're pretty happy with it. And that's pretty well it. Thanks. Bye-bye.